Bowman. We're in Tabacal province. What can you tell us? Tabacal was once a major coffee producer, but over the last few years, Santa Blanca has forced the coffee growers to become cocoleros instead, growing leaf exclusively for the cartel. Who's our target? A cartel boss named Madra Coca. The cocoleros are terrified of her. Take a look at the video I just sent and you'll understand why. She runs Tabacal like her own mini cartel. Production of coca leaf, distribution by truck and train, and enough security to keep the cocoleros in line and the convoy secure. All of it run with ruthless efficiency. I'm in contact with a small group of rebels. They're willing to help us fight the cartel if we can prove our good intentions. You got any suggestions? Two things you can do to earn their trust. First, an old cocolero named Chavez has been trying to get the farmers to stand up to the cartel. Word is he's giving a speech to the cocoleros at the agricultural cooperative. Make contact with him there and keep him safe. What else? Supposedly, the cartel collects their coca in this province from a single farm. Ambush the cartel when they come for the coca. That should send a message to the cocoleros and disrupt Madra Coca's production. Ruperta Faro, Madre Coca. They used to grow coffee here in Tabacal, but the cartels made them switch to coca. A lot more profitable. If you ever tried to snort Italian roast, you'll know why. Spoiler alert, this is frowned upon at coffee shops. Don't ask. Madre Coca grew up as a raspuccina, a coca picker. When it comes to illegal coca farms, there's no such thing as child labor laws. It was brutal, backbreaking work. She had a son whom she'd always dream would move on to better things. He didn't. Young Pablo died from a coke overdose. How does a mother who grows coke a deal with growing the product that killed her own kid? Most people see the error of their ways and move on to something else. For Madra Coca, it was the exact opposite. She took out her anger on the people of Tabacal, forcing them to endure the same hardship she had experienced. And like any tyrant, she expanded her empire. This led to resentment from the people, which she dealt with. With the backing of El Yeyo, she became a very powerful woman in the cartel. A new twist on an age-old lesson. You don't fuck with mama. is up. Looks like the Cocoleros are putting together a big shipment to hand over to the cartel. We've got an opportunity to take out Santa Blanca forces while they're around. Let's move. Target carrying submachine guns. Looks like we've riled them up. They've seen us.
sure are a lot of lights and switches up here. Fire. I copy. Kill confirmed. Move there. Copy. Who demonios are you? Did Madre Coca send you? Expecting trouble, senor? Oiga, you didn't answer my question. I'm a friend, and I'm trying to keep you from making a big mistake. Mistake? Usted que sabe? Since when is helping my people a mistake? If you make the speech, people are gonna get killed. It's that simple. Madre Coca is gonna send in her people, and it's gonna get bloody. So I should stay silent? That's your answer? Se equivoca. Then you are no better than Madre Coca. Get out of my way, gringo. I must speak with my people. This is Nomad. We're at the Agricultural Cooperative. Chavez blew off our warning. He's about to speak to the Cocoleros. The rebels say Chavez is the real deal. A true revolutionary. He's a dead man walking. The cartel is not gonna let this slide. Do whatever it takes to keep Chavez alive. That'll show the rebels we're serious about stopping Madre Coca. On it. Yo, we're placing a mine over here. Before the cartel came, we were our own men. Hombres libres. Sembrábamos café. I tended our field with pride. What are we now? Go. ¿Qué nos ha hecho esta diabólica mujer? ¿Qué nos ha hecho madre coca? Everyone on the correct. We good? Shit got close. Target's marked. Good to go. Ready? Open fire. Copy that. Engaging. Everyone on the ground, get down! Press these people on. Keep the guns 
I think our guns are spooking. Bowman, we wrapped it up. Chavez is secure. Good work. Keep digging for intel on Madre Coca's operations. We need to know where the coca leaves are going and where they're being stored prior to transit. Roger that. We're on it. Sniper, top of the tower. You're gonna get made, hang back. It's a route plan for a convoy that moves along the death road. A security team rides along with it. There's a name here. Salazar. Bowman, we're picking up chatter about a cartel lieutenant by the name of Salazar. You got anything on him? Ah, uh, yes. Jorge Salazar. Madricoca's baby boy. Say again? The story goes something like this. Salazar was 17 years old and working in the fields when Madricoca took over Tabacal. She took a liking to him from the start. Said he reminded... Her of her own son, who died when he was about Jorge's age. She offered Jorge a job. Jorge's father protested. So, she had the old man stuffed in the sack of tires and set him on fire. Jorge has been her adopted son and right-hand man ever since. That's seriously fucked up. Salazar's probably the one person in the world Madricoca really trusts. We grab him. It'll turn her world upside down. We'll see what we can do. There's the convoy. Roger. Eyes on Salazar. Target marked. Let's take him alive. You're hey, where are you taking me? Someplace where Madre Coca won't find you. <laughs> You're a fool. There's no place in Bolivia where she can't find me. You really think she'd go to all that trouble just for you? Get your head out of your ass. She's using you. Using me? She pulled me out of the fields and maybe her right-hand man. I was 17, and everyone in Tabacal treated me like a king. She gave me power, respect. People feared me. Yeah, you won the asshole lottery. Good for you. She's probably lining up your replacement right now. You don't know her like I do, gringo. Trust me. You're going to burn. You're dead, hijo de puta. You hear me? You know who the fuck I am? You're Madre Coca's boy, right? She used to wipe your ass and tuck you in at night. The hell did you just say? Shut your whole mama's boy. You're coming with us. Someone wants to talk to you. We're coming up on the rally point. Heads up. Yeah. This is our stop. <laughs> Well, you better go. Suck my dick, Blanquinosa de mierda. I ain't saying shit. Salazar, did it ever occur to you that... I don't actually need you to talk. Without you, there's no one to run things in Tabacal. Madricoca will have to come out of hiding, and then we'll have her. Entonces, you think I'm the only one she trusts? Carajo, mujer. She has people loyal to her working with the farmers. Now that's an interesting piece of information. See? You're cooperating already. Wait! I didn't! Sure you did. And Madre Coca would skin you alive if she ever found out. Give us a name, Salazar. And we promise this stays between you and us. If not... 
Dale, pues. ¡Ok! Given up the names of several Cocoleros who've been secretly spying for Madre Coca. If Chavez and the others are gonna stand a chance against the cartel, we need to take these fuckers out. This is Bowman. We got her. Holy shit, we got her. Say again? I just heard from my rebel contact in Tabacal. Madre Coca's reached out to them. She thinks they're the ones who've got Salazar, and she wants it back. She wants to set up a meet to negotiate. You believe her? I believe she wants Salazar. The rest doesn't matter. We've got Madra Coca right where we want her. You can accompany the rebels to the meet. Talk to her. Convince her that if she wants Salazar back, she's got to play along. I'm sending coordinates for the RV now. The rebels will take you to the meet. I'm counting on you to keep things from getting out of hand, Nomad. We need Madra Coca alive. There's the farm where cartel snitches are hiding. As soon as we hit one of them, the rest will scatter. We need to take them down fast before they get away. Yo, cartel gunman. Hey, we got a narco. The field. Drone is airborne. I got a third. We got a tango with multiple civilians around. Tango marked, but he's got a civilian nearby. First target is down. Repeat, first target is down. Moving to the next. Second target, hold up. Their LT's making a run for it. Take cover! Keep moving. Copy. That's the last of them. Let's clear out and let the Cocoleros take care of the rest. Target set, ready to assault. You're those janky soldiers? That's right. Follow us. I'll drive. I'm in. Let's go. How are we gonna handle the meat, boss? What's the move? I'll do the talking. Give Madre Coca the terms, see how she reacts. Everybody else hold back. I don't like it. If she makes a play, you'd be cut off. We'd never get to you in time. Jesus, Holt. You sound like my mother. You take your mother to a lot of hostage negotiations, boss? Look, Madre Coca's got no more reason to trust us than we do her. If I roll up on her with the whole team, it could sour the deal. So we play this one straight until we know different. Understood? Whatever you say, boss. You know I got your back. Hell yeah. That's what I'm counting on. We're coming up on the meet. Stay cool. We're here to talk. But her crew starts slinging lead. Don't hesitate. Slaughter the fuckers. If she's playing us, she better make her first shot count, because I guarantee she ain't getting another. I heard that. Down, you're giving yourself away. Hold your position. Roger. Ambush! Light these assholes up! Coca's dead. What the hell happened? It was an ambush. Madre Coca never had any intention of negotiating. 
She was looking for hostages of her own to trade for Salazar. She was spread out. Desperate people make desperate mistakes. And I had made El Yayo and La Gringa desperate. I pressured them too much. But I had no choice. The attacks on our production were increasing. It was hurting our supply chain. If something was not done, we would lose our market share. So I pushed them to produce more coke. They couldn't do it. So they started to cut it, dilute it, lower the quality to increase the quantity. An understandable mistake, but a mistake nevertheless. I had spent years branding Santa Blanca, a quality product, the best in the world. A primo price for a primo product. Problem was, the product wasn't primo anymore. 